Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. I heard turmoil. What's going on here? Let's see. Oh, deck is upside down. Hang on. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce this. Seven of Wands. I don't know. It's like you got to fight your position. You're not giving up something. Something was destructive in your life. Something, or somebody tried to come in destructive. This could be collapse of something, or, you know, you feel like you're in your own corner. People are coming at you for whatever reason. It's like you have to fight, you know, defend yourself. This is also maybe someone trying to get your attention and maybe even maintain your attention. This could be someone who wants to have fun with you. you know? Let's see. The death card. So there's like an ending of some type of relationship. Business, personal, uh, family. There also could have, there could be... So somebody's trying to get your attention because there was an ending to a relationship, whether whatever type of relationship it is or was. Um, it says that there could be a pause before you guys get back together. So for some of you, it could be that you get back together. And then for some of you, it's just final. It's, it's, it's done. You know, it's been leading up to this thing. You have the Queen of Swords flipped out. So some of you are just like, I'm done completely. I've turned my back to this. It, it just doesn't make sense for me to stay in this. Um, some of you feel like some executive decision was made without, you know, just cause or just do, or you feel like you, you need to go and get an advocate or you need to get some people on your side or you need to get some type of help. Okay. Um, and then so for some of you, you cut something off or you cut it out the page of pentacles and the king of swords. So it's definitely a relationship here where the two of you, the relationship is strained, whether it's not that you're talking to one another or you are, you know, far from one another in terms of distance. Uh, it could be emotional distance. Also the page of pentacles is like somebody wants to maybe offer apology, a gift, a gift of maybe saying like, let's be more consistent with one another. Let's be, let's be healthy you feel like somebody offered you um, not enough in terms of, I heard of a severance package or nothing at all. Something came without merit or without warrant is what I'm getting. Somebody feels this way about you maybe cutting off a relationship. It came without merit or warning or it's just unjust. Something about that. Let's see. What advice do we have for Aries this week? The nine of cups. So it looks like you'll get what you want. With the Nine of Cups, make a wish. It can very well come true. You'll find emotional stability by yourself right now. Uh, take some time for yourself. Indulge in some type of leisure activity. The Knight of Cups, there's somebody who wants to maybe uh, see you. They're hoping that they can wish. Well, they're hoping and wishing that they get an opportunity to maybe sway you. You know, sway your position. Make you fall in love with them again. They want to take you out on a date. You might even get an invitation. Um, let's see. Think outside of the box. Think creativity. Creativity. Can't even say the word. Be creative in your thinking when it comes to work. <laughs> Some of you could be in the beauty sector. You know, uh, beauty regimen, fashion, makeup, hair. Um, you got to be more creative in terms of some something that you're producing knight of swords we definitely have something or someone coming from the past very determined maybe to change your position change your mind the ten of wands it could have been maybe a sexual relationship karmic it was one where you just continue to stay in the relationship not knowing where it was going there could have even been someone who was married this is a relationship where you have good conversations um good talks this could be somebody doing energy work definitely um some negative spells maybe to get you back you know a come to me type of energy um let's see what else do we have to offer aries this yeah pisces so the mystic um 
imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic. So some of you, if you've got feelings, you need to express them with a mystic here. Some of you need to get into a spiritual practice. This could be self-pitying, being illogical, uh, impractical, maybe even escapist, spiritual also allowing dreamy some of you have aspirations dreams you need to put more action behind them um yeah nine of cups i don't know if you're going to indulge or overindulge or something of that nature definitely could be dealing with water signs got cancer at the bottom of the deck feeling sympathetic comforting nostalgic defensive family oriented sentimental moody receptive nocturnal um birthing and tender so those are some, maybe even a little bit introverted, especially while you're going through something, while you're trying to fight some battle or deal with something, or you're trying to not be the scapegoat in terms of dealing with a particular entity, person, company. Um, it's like you're trying to get yourself in an energy of seeing what your options are. And for some of you, you've cut something off or out, or you've been cut out or something of that nature. Uh, the advice here is for you to make a wish it could very well come true. Be more creative in your um, your artistic pursuits. Put more, think outside of the box here. The Knight of Swords, also be determined to get something done. Uh, be persuasive in your speech or someone's going to come at you like that, especially to rekindle or to draw back in. Again, you get like come to me energy, come to me spells. You could go into escapism mode because something you know, turmoil has happened. So maybe you'll go into, you know, sex and fun and having a good time. And that's escaping from what is really going on here for you. Um, some of you need to make a plan here. You do have something good happening for you or something that you can start to put your energy into. Uh, you could be very emotional this week. We did just have the full moon uh, leave us. And now we're in the waning gibbous moon. So Things are kind of um, settling down. The dust is settle settling. Something could have happened. Something could have been completely ex um, e eclipsed out of your life. It left, especially on this full moon. Something happened around Monday, Sunday to Monday, this past Sunday. So that would be like 15th, 16th of May. So um, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. Aries, if you want to get your own personal reading, you can go over to the website. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the subscribe and the bell button so you know when I'm live. You can come ask questions. Um, also, you can uh, donate to the channel by clicking the buy a little coffee. That's what I have for you. Take care. Many blessings to you.